Ready for the new school year, Wendy? I got some sweet new school surprises here. Me too. I bet when you see mine, you're going to be so jelly. These awesome new edible school supplies are going to make your friends so hungry and jealous of you during class. Some ingredients are classic favorites, but we also have some new unexpected creations as well. If you love the idea of turning your school supplies into food, hit the notification bell and comment Unicorn Squad right now. Today we're gonna make slime, so I hope you brought your glue. Yes! Look at this glitter glue I brought. They're so pretty. I got glitter glue too. Mm. Miss, help! Wenji's eating her glue again. Wenji, again? This is three years in a row now. I'm getting you professional help. I don't need professional help. I need glue. What is wrong with this girl? Mmm. To make some edible glitter glue, all you need is some jelly and some edible glitter. Just prepare the jelly according to the instructions on the pack, which is basically just dissolving it in some hot water first, and then just adding some cold water after. Next, take an empty glitter glue container and add some edible glitter into it first. I used a pink and gold glitter, which I thought looked most similar to the actual glitter in the glue, which is kind of like hollow. Then just pour in your jelly mix and then let it firm up in the fridge. Mm. Oh wait, sorry, we're making slime. Okay. Hey Wenji Wenji, look at my new phone case. Oh wow, that looks so cool. Much more grown up than your old one. Is that marble? I got a marble phone case too! Wow, this colors are so magical and nice. Where did you buy it from? Psh, buy it? I made it. Huh? Made it? That's amazing! And after I eat it, I just make another one for the next day. So basically, I get a new phone case every day. Did you just say eat it? Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, I got a message. Who would message you after you did that? To make your edible phone case, you'll need three colors of icing fondant. Well, technically you only need one, but I want to make a unicorn marble pattern on mine. I think it's just prettier. Next, just roll the fondant into three strips and twist them together first. And then just twirl it into a poop like the slime swirl. Next, shape it into a ball and then flatten it with a rolling pin to about half a centimeter thickness. Or you need to make sure it's a little larger than your phone. Now wrap your phone in cling wrap and place it face down on your surface and lay out your fondant sheet over the phone. Gently use your hands to mold the fondant around your phone edges so the shape of your phone starts to become visible. Then cut away some excess fondant and continue to mold the edges so they fit around your phone. Do one final trim and it should look something like this. Next, take some sugar glue and add some edible glitter and mix them together into a glitter paste. Pin on some glitter streaks on your phone case and you can make these random if you like, but I kind of just followed the marble pattern. Now just wait for your fondant to solidify, which usually takes a few hours up to a day. When it's solid, you can then carefully remove your phone from the case. The hardest part of this is actually not using your phone during that time. <laughs> You'll be able to see a small indent where the phone camera was, so cut that out carefully using a knife. Now you want to let this case dry properly for 24 hours or more so it becomes fully solid. You can see it might take a few tries to get this perfect, so you might end up with a few cases by the end of your test. Like me. Oh. Hey Wendy, Wendy, I made some super cool DIYs lately, you wanna see? Sure. Check out these super cool unicorn magical erasers! Oh yeah, I totally watched your video and I got inspired to do some similar ones. See look? Huh? Did you copy my DIY? No way, mine are completely different from yours. How? They look exactly the same. Here, I'll show you. Why didn't I think of that? Hmm? See? Can you eat yours? 
Mm. No. no. To make edible DIY unicorn pencil toppers, you'll need some <laughs> Laffy Taffy. Just take two Laffy Taffy colors and unwrap them. Then just roll each of them into a long worm shape. Try to keep their sizes equal because they'll look better in the end if they are. Mia, do they smell yummy? Next, just put them next to each other, then slowly wrap them around your pencil. Break off the end and shape it into a cute unicorn horn and you're done! Try some different color combinations and tag me on hashtag WenjiCorn so I can see your creations! What? No. I see them right there. What? These aren't yours, they're mine. Well, why don't they look exactly the same as my missing pair? Huh? Don't know, it's not my problem. <gasps> Miss, Wendy stole my scissors. No, these are mine. Prove it. Fine. Can you eat your scissors? Didn't think so. To make edible scissors, you'll need some magic mold putty. Mix equal parts of the putty together and then create a scissor shaped mold which you can then press your scissors into. Press the mold firmly into the scissors to make sure it's secure. When it's set, remove your scissors and you'll be left with the perfect mold for your candy. To make your hard candy mixture, you'll need half a cup of sugar, a quarter cup of water and one tablespoon of glucose syrup. Mix in a few drops of red and yellow food dye to get the color you want or whatever your scissors is. Mine is orange. Next, heat this on the stove until the mixture reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius. You'll need a candy thermometer to measure temperatures this high and obviously you need to be very careful and have adult supervision. When you're ready, carefully pour it into the mold. You may need to do this a few times after waiting for the bubbles to settle. When it's set, just pop it out of the mold carefully and you'll have your edible hard candy scissors. I added half a yellow skittle on the screw on each side to make it look even more convincing. What happened to my tools then? Okay guys, for this next math problem, you'll need a ruler. Hey Wenji, do you have a spare ruler? I forgot to bring mine. Uh, Sorry, I don't have a spare. What? You have one right there, I can totally see it. Huh? Where? There, on your book. You mean this? This isn't a ruler. Huh? It's my 10 a.m. stack. Mm. Miss, when she's eating her school supplies again. To make an edible ruler, you'll need a bunch of Starburst candy. Next, pick one color to use and I chose pink. Peel the wrappers and place them in a microwave safe bowl and microwave for two minutes. Careful as they can get quite hot immediately afterwards, so don't forget to get parental supervision for this step. Just spread it out onto a flat surface and then use your hands to massage it into a smooth straight line. Draw your ruler measurements then cut the edges of the candy away and you'll be left with something like this. Next, use an edible marker to write on the markings using a real ruler as a guide and then fill in the numbers and you're done! Wenji, that's the weirdest yeah. pencil I've ever seen. Just because it's weird doesn't mean it's bad. Like me! Oh! Huh? I forgot there was an eraser at the end of my pencil and I started chewing on the end. So gross. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Huh? And now I feel like something crunchy. Oh. What the? Where did you get the? I want one now. To make this funny Pocky pencil, use a tiny pencil end first and then wrap a thin layer of icing fondant around it. That means you can use an old pencil you're about to throw away. Press your Pocky sticks into the fondant firmly and do it one by one until the Pocky completely surrounds the pencil. Try not to let your cat distract you from this process. Mia, how does the Pocky taste? After you're done, you'll have an edible Pocky pencil and you can even choose to stick on a marshmallow on the end to make it an edible eraser as well. For those of you that don't know, Pocky is an amazing Asian snack and you gotta try it. Where did you get those? I want one now. Hey 
Wenji, can I borrow your pink highlighter? Don't you have one? Uh, yeah, but my cat ate it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Hey Wenji, can I borrow your blue highlighter? <laughs> Are you gonna tell me your cat oh. ate that one too? Nope. I ate it. Mm. Wendy! <laughs> Can I have one? For these edible highlighters, you'll need some more Mold Magic Putty. Again, mix equal parts of the putty and shape it into a long tube. Next, press your highlighter firmly into it and then mold the edges to bring them up around the sides of your highlighter. You don't want to cover the entire highlighter because then you won't be able to get your highlighter out of the mold once it's set. Once you have your mold, it's now time to prepare your gummy. Just add some pre-made jelly liquid into the pot and add 1 tablespoon of agar agar or gelatin powder. Boil this over a stove and then pour it into your mold. When it's set, take out your gummy highlighter and that's it. I made a few different colors and honestly, they looked as good as they tasted. Mm. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching the video and here's a huge hug! School supplies hugs! So let me know which one your favorite edible DIY is down below. And also, don't forget, I'm wearing my merch throughout this video. So if you want to grab a sleepy corn t-shirt or a black unicorn jacket and much more, don't forget to click the link down below to my merch shop and you can grab some too. And don't forget to check out my first single cake. You can download it on iTunes, Google Play, or stream it on Spotify. All the links are down below. Also, huge shout out to my Wenchification Squad member of the week and my Wenchy Corner of the week. If you want to grab your own shout out next week, don't forget to check the description box for instructions on how to do that. And until next week, I'm going to miss you guys so much. I'll see you guys then. Bye guys. Love you.